Millie and Molly arrived at school one morning to a big surprise. Good morning, class. My name is Mr. Webster. I'll be teaching you Where, for... Where's Miss Blythe? Miss Blythe is looking after her mother, who's sick. Oh. Yes. When will she be back? She'll be away for a week. A oh. week? Now, everyone, outside. How come? Well, for our morning walk, of course. Morning, morning walk? walk? I know it will take a bit of getting used to. But a walk is a great way to get us going in the morning. Why can't we just start the day with show and tell? Yeah, like we always do. Millie and Molly wanted their school day to stay just the same. But in the afternoon, there were more changes for Millie and Molly's class. OK, class, time to put your drawings away. Want to do a jigsaw in free time? Yeah, great! And then sit down on the mat for story time. Story time? You don't usually have story time in the afternoon? This is when we always have free time, Mr Webster. And free time is everyone's favourite time in the whole day. I know it's a bit of a change. But maybe story time will become everyone's favourite time of the day. So, come on then. <sighs> this is a really exciting adventure story called Mackenzie McDougall and the Mysterious Monster of the Deep. Monster? Yay! How does the story start? It's a monster from outer space? We'll just wait until everyone is sitting down on the mat. Now when will I get to make buildings out of blocks? I was going to make a mega huge soccer stadium today. Right. Mackenzie McDougall was the only girl in her village who believed in the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. She lived in a... The next day, Millie and Molly were trying not to let all the changes get them down. Well, at least Miss Blatt's only gone for a week. Yeah, only a week. Two more weeks. Oh. Oh. Because Miss Blythe's mother is still unwell and needs some extra care. Oh. I know you all miss Miss Blythe, and I'm sure she misses you too. Mr Webster? Yes, Millie? What about the school's parents' day? I've already invited my mum and dad to come and visit our class. I yeah. called my mum. Dad's coming. Dad's coming. Now, calm down. We were going to do a show for our parents. It's OK. We can still do a show for parents' day. Molly, can you tell me what Miss Blythe had planned? Well... We started making puppets out of old socks. This is how it works. Hello, Mr. Webster. <laughs> we'll have to sew on some wool for hair. And we were going to make a puppet theatre out of a cardboard box. I want to make a big, huge, ginormous puppet. Like the monster in the book. A Loch Ness Monster Puppet. What an interesting idea, Humphrey. Everyone can work together to build one huge Loch Ness Monster Puppet. Monster puppet? So Mr. Webster made the frame for the Loch Ness Monster Puppet and showed Millie and Molly's class how to cover it with paper and glue. It was all in separate pieces, so it was hard to see how the puppet would turn out. Do you think this looks like the Loch Ness Monster? Not really. I think it looks like a horrible mess. Now, the Monster Puppet won't look like much until you see all the parts together. But you're all going to have to work a bit faster. Otherwise, we won't be ready for Parents' Day. OK, Mr Webster. And remember to tell your parents we're doing this show in the park. <sighs> it wasn't till the morning of Parents' Day that rehearsal for the Monster Puppet Show could begin. The monster was finally complete. But it was hard to tell. Now, Jack, you're the monster's head. Poppy and Sophie... You've got one monster body section. Tom and Elizabeth, you'll have the other. And Meg, the tail. Got that? I think so, yes. But with all the changes Mr Webster had brought, only Humphrey seemed enthusiastic. This is where the parents will watch from. I want my mum to be right up at the front so she can see me. I want my mum and dad to be right up the back. Me too. Humphrey, this is for you. Cool. Monsters. Millie, you're on percussion. It's a very important role. And you'll stand here. Right near the mums and dads. And Molly, stand over here. 
You're the girl who looks out for the monster on the banks of the lock. Well, could she at least be a princess? Sorry, she's just a girl from the local village, like in the book. Oh. Ready, everyone? And cue Humphrey. By the deep, dark waters of Loch Ness. That's when we see the waves of the lock. George, Chloe, Harry, Alf, come on, make the waves. Try and make them bigger. Go on, Humphrey. A girl was watching and waiting. Molly, that's when you come out and step towards the lock. To see if the myth was true, the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. Millie, start the drumbeat. Uh, much slower, Millie. That's when the monster comes on, Jack. I can't see where I'm going. Is this uh, the right way? Jack, you've got the head on backwards, and Meg, the tail is supposed to come last. Oh, it's not there. Where's the middle of the monster? Is this the right way? What's where you going? Ow! Oh, 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 hey, my leg! Is everyone oh, all right? You've got to ruin everything. I knew we should have stuck with the sock puppets. Why do we have to change? Right. Everyone, class meeting. I know why things aren't going well. You're frightened. No, we're not. You don't know it, but you are. But that's okay. It's normal. But what are we frightened of? Frightened of doing something different. So you're not trying very hard to make this puppet show work. Now, I know I've made some changes to your school day, and that can be hard. We all feel more comfortable with things we like or plan ourselves, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose is right. But if we never took a chance, too frightened to try something different, then what a boring life we'd all lead. Everything the same, forever. We'd still be living in caves. With dinosaurs and saber-toothed tigers? Now that's not a good thing, Humphrey. Oh. We wouldn't have houses or electricity or hospitals or, or, or ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream. Well, someone had to be brave enough to try the first ice cream. It might have tasted terrible. <laughs> but it didn't. No, it didn't. You never know how much fun something might be until you try it. Do you? No, yeah, you're, right. you're right. Well, we could try harder. Yeah. Yeah, we could. I'm brave. Try harder. Well, your parents will appreciate it. And Miss Bly. <laughs> yes. She'll be coming to watch today. And she'll be back teaching you tomorrow. I hope it's going to be okay. We haven't had much practice. We can only try hard. And be brave. Shh, it's about to start. Parents and visitors, welcome to our show called Legend of the Deep. By the deep, dark waters of Loch Ness. A girl was watching and waiting to see if the myth was true. The legend of the Loch Ness Monster. Waiting and watching. Waiting and waiting and waiting, hoping for a glimpse. to make a plan to protect him. Well done! 
Ah, oh, I'm so proud of you all. Oh, Mr. Webster, so am I. That Loch Ness monster is so much more exciting than the wee sock puppet show I had planned. What a brilliant idea. That was my brilliant idea. Humphrey! Now I'm really impressed, Mr. Webster. I've had a great time at your school, and that show today was a terrific way to finish. Excuse me, Miss Bly. Can we still go on our morning walk tomorrow? It's the best way to start the day. It really gets you going. And can we still have story time every day? It's my most favourite time of day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right, Auntie. Yeah. You certainly can. It's great to have some exciting changes to our school day. Thanks to Mr. Webster. <laughs> <laughs>